Hello, you can see the mini cat here. Welcome to another episode of Downfall. Um, if you can hear some banging or something like that, uh, it's world works outside. You probably can't, but I thought that I ought to inform you anyway. So now we need to go to the manageress's office. I'm surprised that you can't go through more of these doors. It sort of feels like they've uh, they had the chance to make you wander through an endless series of doors, and then, well, you didn't. I mean, look at the way the numbers are done here. It kind of looks like it's going to be a puzzle where you need to work out which door to go through, but nope, the others don't work. Ah, and here's my American boy. I knew you'd come. But I didn't think you'd bring a chaperone with you. I don't like the look of that news. I don't like the look of these pictures on the walls. I don't like the look of that cracked mirror. You should have warned us. You should have told us to leave. But Joe, I'm running a business here. I can't just tell my guests to leave, can I? Now, that would be so rude. Um, I should kill you right here, right now, for all you've done to us. What's stopping you, Joe? That's a fair point. Uh, I'm not going to be a hypocrite. He has murdered several people. I want to find out what you know first. That's not going to happen. Unless... Unless you strip me naked, tie me to a bed, and torture me until I scream it out to you. You know I won't do that. No? Shame. What makes you even think that I'm attracted to you? Because it's written all over your face. Underneath all this, anger. I am your secret little desire, Joe. Your perfect woman. I'm never bitter, or tired, or not in the mood. Instead, I'm composed, and strong, and spontaneous. I don't burden you with my baggage of problems. I don't poison your life. I don't hide from you. Now is the perfect time for us to reconcile. To forget about that little bitch, Ivy. To run away and be happy. What do you say, Joe? I, uh... I don't think it's entirely Ivy's fault, but to be fair, she does kind of sound like... She's done all of those things that, uh... This, uh... Man Joas wouldn't. If you think about it, probably their problems together stem from him and Ivy having nothing really to deal with except Ivy's problems for quite some time. And the manager is really tempting. I'll admit that she's she's good at that. I mean I'm not saying that I'm attracted to some computer pixels. But, um, she's a persuasive person, or whatever you want to call her, nonetheless. <laughs> I'm genuinely tempted to say yes, although I'm not sure it's the right thing to say in front of Agnes. I don't know. You're asking me to abandon Ivy? I'm not that kind of person. No, you're a good guy. After all, you did listen to your wife when she wanted to share her problems. And you were always there for her. But no one is perfect, Joe. Sometimes even when we think we're right, we're so wrong. You know what? I helped you once before, when I left that key on the desk. I'll help you again, 
just to prove that I'm not as evil as you seem to think. But let's play a little game first. I want you to follow me to a special place. We're not following you anywhere, right, Joe? The little mouse can talk. Hmm. You have a strange taste in women, Joe. I've got something you need. A perfect weapon. Just follow the trail. I'll be waiting. Mm. We're not gonna do it, are we? I know you don't trust her, but we might have no choice. A perfect weapon. Tempting. Hmm. That's interesting. We've got in these pictures on the walls a baby being uh, looked after by some sort of monster and uh, seeing no evil picture. I don't know exactly what to make of it, but I doubt those two pictures were chosen at random by whoever made the game. You might also notice that there's still a shadow of uh, someone um, with their head actually in that noose. You might not be able to see it, I don't know, but trust me, it's there. Anyway, let's go on this hunt, I guess. Yep. Now, since I've already done this, I uh, already know where we need to go, which is fortunate, because we won't have to go through uh, two of the floors. So, we need to go back down to the ground floor. If I remember rightly, but I will meet you there when we get to the right place. In fact, I will let you watch me get to the right place. I just want to do something else for a sec. Wow, well, that's an item of fur carving on the floor. But we won't examine it. They fell off the Just door. a second. I think I saw something. Turns out it was nothing. Hey, wait for me. No, oh, I think it was probably something. Joe, let me in. Interesting, don't you think? Um, I think it says Devil Came Through here, which well, is what it says in the uh, bathroom. Only darkness this way. Bedroom, sorry, uh, Ivy and uh, Joe's bedroom. Just who he is, yeah. Agnes. What took you so long, handsome? 
Welcome to my private bedroom, Joe. Come closer. Don't be shy. Oh, it's so tempting. You know what? We're getting near the game. I'm... I'm gonna be honest here. Yeah. You're beautiful. Am I? <laughs> Stop it, Joe. You'll make me blush. Regardless of what happens here, I just wanted to say it. Why won't you just explain all of this to me? What's there to explain? Isn't it obvious that we fancy each other? I don't fancy you. No? Then tell me this. On your way here, when you found my panties, did you examine them? Yes, but I was just... No excuses, Joe. You couldn't resist and that's okay. I wanted you to examine them. But really, I just want to understand what's going on here. Oh, but didn't we already have this conversation? Twice. Yeah, but every time we do, you tell me exactly nothing. Fine. I'll tell you a secret. Okay. This hotel is built on an ancient Indian burial ground. Wh what? <laughs> You'd believe anything at this point, wouldn't you? Except the truth, of course. That one is always hard to accept. I've seen this axe before. This axe? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. But it's just an ordinary fire axe. We keep it here in case of, you know, fire. There's blood on it. <sighs> Maybe just a drop or two. What is it doing here? It's a gift for you. I told you. This ox will be your final weapon. This axe would come in handy for sure. I think you'll look good with an ox. A real... killer. Don't call me that. You've already murdered a bunch of people today. And some animals. They were not real people! Look. I'm not saying it bothers me. All I want is for us to be together. But that's not going to happen unless you take this axe and remove that one last obstacle. The last incarnation of Sophie. Are you really trying to help me? No, I didn't mean Sophie. Then who? The creature standing right behind you. You didn't mistake her for a friend by any chance, did you? That sweet, naive little Agnes. Her only purpose was to stop you in your tracks. She was lying to you all along. Just look at her. This is the real Agnes. The parasite that you have to kill. No. I don't believe you. It's your choice, but deep down you know what you've got to do. Grab that ox. Take a big swing. And fuck her up. Out of the two, I trust her less than Agnes. You can do it, Joe. I'll fall for these lies. Sophie, I'm coming for you. This is the end. Now I need to remember where Sophie is. You 
looks like he's walking in a more determined way now. He knows what he has to do. Well, he knows what he wants to do anyway. I don't know why that phone is there, since you never use it. Oh, well. for change of pace, shall we? Of scene, anyway. This, this weirdly coloured mist is descending. And look, he's uh he's behind the house now, the uh which makes sense it, geographically, but uh the coffee cup's not behind the house now because he's behind it. Looks like I don't need the axe anymore. Not sure why he says that. I assumed he was going to use it against Sophie. If he had said that after opening the package, that would make sense. If I play the piano after dark for two minutes. But no one does anything when there's real bloody noise in the middle of the night. <sighs> it seems to be coming from Joe's flat. Now, this is Susan. Now, what I'm praying is technically not the original version of Downfall. It's a remake by the uh, original creator. I don't know what the differences are because I haven't played the original. So I don't know if the Cat Lady was made before the original or after. Uh, this might be a change that's happened. So this could be a sequel or it might not be. But Susan is the main antagonist of uh, the Cat Lady uh, game. The door's wide open. Hello? End of the road, bitch. Just ask the cat. Yes, you might remember this. Um.
got pretty good music this game. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, but I will be completing the game in the next episode. See you next time.